Hello and happy Tuesday. It's time for Tuesday story time. Welcome back. So today our theme is going to be nights. We're going to read some fun books and as always we'll do a very fun activity. Up, we've got the wall in the middle of the book. There's a wall in the middle of the book. And it's a good thing. See a knight there? The wall protects this side of the book from the other side of the book. This side of the book is safe. The other side is not. But the most dangerous thing on the other side of the book is the ogre. If the ogre ever caught me, he'd eat me up. And that's why I'm glad there's a wall in the middle of the book and that I'm on this side of it. Wait a second. What's going on? This is not supposed to happen on this side of the wall. Oh no. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh no. I'm on the other side of the book. And you're the only one who's going to eat me up. Ha, ha, ha. I'm actually a nice ogre. And this side of the book is fantastic. Come on, I'll show you around. Hey, ogre, wait for me. Look at that. So that side of the book wasn't so scary after all. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. Oh, how the dragon wished it would stop. That clippity, clippity, clippity clop. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a squire. Who hollered, that's hot when the dragon breathed fire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the knight. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. Clippity, 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 clop. There was an old dragon who swallowed a cook, a savory cook and his recipe book. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a lady. It seems quite shady that he swallowed a lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the knight. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. There wasn't a dragon who swallowed a castle. Can you imagine swallowing a castle? Swallowed it down to the last golden tassel. He swallowed the castle to hold the lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. 
I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a moat, guzzled and gulped it right down his throat. With all of that water, he started to bloat. And that's when the dragon roared and I quote, okay, enough, I've had enough, more than enough of this swallowing stuff. Maybe I've been a tad impolite. Perchance I should only have swallowed the night. So he burped out the moat that had caused him to bloat. He burped out the castle along with the tassel. He burped out the lady who found that quite shady. He burped out the cook and his recipe book. He burped out the squire, now blackened with fire. Then all of the power that he could amass, the dragon burped out one last billow of gas. And with terrible speed, he burped out the steed. Clippity, 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 clop. Clippity, 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 stop. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. Ah, oh, just right. Good night. The end. That was pretty fun. The dragon and the nimblesome knight. The dragons of dread were a terrible bunch. They ate boys for their breakfast and girls for their lunch. But the best things of all their favorite delights were dribblesome, nibblesome, novel need nights. When the smallest of dragons turned four, his parents said, Dram, you're a baby no more. This nest's getting cramped and you've never once flown. Now go bite a nibblesome night of your own. So Dram stretched his wings and started to flap, but the lightning went flash and the thunder went clap. It hailed and it galed and the winds looped and curled and they wished Dram away to the end of the world where he thumped and he bumped and went bounce, clatter, crash. And he fell in the lake with a spontaneous splash. Now watching the skies by the edge of the shore was young James who had never seen a dragon before. He cried, what was that? Some rare kind of duck, but it seems to be hurt. What to do, what bad luck. So he took off his armor and said with a grin, I'm coming to help you and waited right in. A lad muttered Dram, he might taste all right, though my mom said I had to nab a nibblesome night and stretched out a claw and suddenly stopped. His leg was all bent and his paw simply flopped. Oh, ducky, cried James, why you poor injured thing. Sit yourself down or I'll make you a sling. That's better, thought Dram. Now I must find a bite of dribblesome, nibblesome, nobble knee night. So he waved goodbye and he tried to breathe smoke, but all that came out was a hoarse kind of croak. Oh, ducky, cried James as Dram struggled to roar. What a strange sort of quack. Why did your throat, why is your throat so sore? Come to the woods and I'll fetch you some honey. It's good medicine, all soothing and runny. That's better, thought Dram. Now I must find a bite of dribblesome, nibblesome, nobble knee night. So he waved goodbye and he started to fly, but his wings were too weak to take off in the sky. Oh, ducky, cried James. I'm so dreadfully rude. You must feel quite faint. Let me get you some food. Come to the orchard. We'll soon fill our tums full of pears and 
pink peaches, and big purple plums. Ooh, that sounds delicious. That's better, yawn Dram. But I must find a bite. But he fell fast asleep in the moon marbled night. In the morning, Dram woke up and said, hey, I feel fine. Soon a bite of nibblesome night will be mine. And he bellowed out billions of billowing flames. And then he thought, I'll say bye to that little lad, James. So he strolled down the road and he stopped through the field. And there was young James with a sword and a shield. You're a knight, shouted Dram. You're not simply a lad. You're a dragon, yelled James. You're all beastly and bad? Yes, muttered Dram. I suppose I should bite. Oh, mumbled James, then I guess I should fight. It must be all over, the finish, the end. Then they both said at once, but I can't. You're my friend. My friend, said James, as he put down his sword. My friend, shouted Dram, and he smiled as he roared. The knights all said, dragons, they're not simply beasts. And the dragon said, Knights aren't so nice for our feet. Nibble at nights? Why, of course we do not. Though every so often they sort of forgot. The and that's a cool story about how dragons and knights can be friends after all. Yeah. friends, what about us becoming knights ourselves? That's what our craft is today. So you'll need a paper plate, popsicle stick, pair of scissors, feather, some tape, a gray marker, and a black marker. paper plate over to this side and put a line straight down that middle circle there and then you want to make a half circle and paper plates normally already have a circle in the middle for you to trace so it's pretty easy so there we have it and then we want to cut that part out So once you've gotten this part cut out, next you'll want to use your gray marker to color your armor. So let's do that. All right, so once you're done with that part, it should look like this. We got our nice gray armor here. And our next step is going to be to take our black marker and just put four lines here at the bottom down like that and then some lines across the top like that some black lines across there so here comes the fun part we get to add our feather and our popsicle stick. activities and read cool books. I'll see you next time. Tune in this week for the rest of our virtual programming. Have a great day!